How to flash a recovery. 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 Not recovery. <laughs> Alright everybody, uh, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Smoking Android where we review apps and do hacks and review apps that hack and all that good shit. Anyways, um, I had a request recently by one of my viewers uh, to do a video on how to flash recovery. Now, there's three recoveries out there. Your stock Android recovery which nobody uses including God himself. Um, there is the Clockwork Mod Recovery from Ron Manager, and then there's the really nice third party, um, and I call them third party because depending on your phone, there might be a developer that releases his own version of Clockwork Mod or his own recovery or this, that, or the other. Anyways, so, uh, what we're going to do is go ahead and show you if you haven't ever loaded a recovery on your phone, let's say you just rooted um you know or or whatever and uh and you don't have a recovery loaded on a cu uh, a custom recovery i'm going to go ahead and, and and show you how to do that now the very first one that we're going to jump into here is clockwork mod recovery from ron manager this is the most easy uh basic way to get recovery on your phone again you have to be rooted to use this so we're going to go ahead and get started by jumping into uh the market and you're going to want to uh, go ahead and locate and type in ROM Manager. Once you get into ROM, once you once, once that's all displayed, um, you're going to download the free version. Now, there is a free version and a paid version. The paid version isn't actually a version. It's just the licensing key, um, which I have both of. And um, so you're going to download the ROM Manager. Now, the difference between premium version and the... Um, free version is um, some things such as like uh, updating your ROM that you're on and looking for ROMs and all that other shit. Uh, it's really worth it. I mean, they really make it pretty useless or, or pointless to have this particular application if you don't have the premium version. Um, so with that said, uh, download it and install it. Once it's installed, um, now you can do this with the with the free version, but again, like I said, the premium version has a bunch of cool features that you're going to want. Um, so, anyways, e even if you do have the free version, you're going to open up your app drawer, uh, locate ROM Manager. We're going to select that. Once it's opened, make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi because it will not download unless you're connected to Wi-Fi. You're going to go ahead and just click on Flash Clockwork Mod Recovery. Once you click that. I think another little window is going to pop up that says, like, do you want to download this or whatever, maybe, something like that. I can't remember, to be honest with you. Um, and then you're going to click OK, and then this little gray bar across the top here is kind of like a, like a download progress bar. Um, and it'll start filling in orange as it, uh, as it installs. Once it's installed, you're ready to go. And if you want, you can test it out by just clicking Reboot into Recovery. Um, if you're like me and you have CyanogenMod Mod 7 running on your phone, we do have the option right in the Power menu for reboot, 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 recovery, or go right into fast boot. And then that's it. That is literally it, guys. Um, and then from recovery, if you don't know what a recovery is, you can obviously flash um, any you know zip file that um, these developers out there, the hackers, um, are, are, are Jedis, if you will, uh, create for us. So uh, the next way to do it uh, um, is using fast boot. And this is the way to do it if you don't want to use clockwork mod recovery you don't want to get you know ROM manager it's too complicated for you I, I it's not complicated but um, anyways this is another way of doing it um, I'm gonna show you uh, one of the, the the guy who requested this video was actually asking how to install ROM racers now this is for the Motorola Atrix okay ROM racers uh, custom recovery is only for Motorola Atrix so if you've got any of their phone don't download this uh, and install it because you're gonna fuck your phone up um, so anyways we're going to do this by downloading, or, or sorry, not downloading, by going into Fastboot, provided you've already downloaded ROM Racer's file. So once you've downloaded his file, um, his recovery image, uh, it's usually going to come in the form of a zip, or like a WinRAR, if you will. You're going to extract that. Now, let's go ahead and show you what it's going to look like on the computer. Um, so... So you've installed it, you've, you're rooted, you've got ADB... And um, let me just zoom in here for you guys real quickly. Uh, and oh, I wish I could straighten this camera out. But um, anyways, so I'm going to do the best I can here by zipping back and forth. So <clears throat> you're going to want to open up your computer 
go directly to C drive, which is where you should have um, your um, you know ADB files and all that other shit meant for um, uh, your computer communicating with your phone. Um, I named my folder Atrix. In this folder, I have my ADB. I've got my Fastboot and everything. If you don't have Fastboot, um, you can find um, packages on XDA forums. Um, just do a little bit of googling, guys. It's really not that difficult. Um, for those of you out there that uh, you know want to know what to type into Google, just type in like Moto Fastboot, Moto Dash Fastboot. Um, but if you can try and look for it in the Atrix forums. Um, fast boot or moto fast boot, you'll find it out there. I promise you, it's really not that difficult to find. Um, so, anyways, once you've got that in there, this is going to be able. This is going going bleh, to enable your phone to communicate with your computer through command prompt. Um, and this is a really simple process. But anyways, so once fast boots on your computer, you're ready to go. Now, in this folder where I have my EDB, where I have my fast boot, all ready to go. This is actually where I put all the. Um, folder, uh, sorry, files that I want to flash to my phone using Fastboot. Um, so, for instance, uh, ROM Racer's recovery that I was using there, I'm now using uh, the ROM Manager Clockwork Mod Recovery, but um, I was using ROM Racer's for a long time there. So, once extracted, um, it's going to show you a file like this, or like this, which is like, you know, again, ROM Racer, he's got different colors. Um, this one in particular is blue. Now, just for simplicity purposes, you're going to want to rename, or I recommend renaming, uh, the recovery image to just, you know, recovery, just so that you don't have to type in this long ass string of, uh, of shit here. Um, and it's already a disk image file, so you don't need to type in recovery.img, which a lot of people get confused with. I've even seen some videos where people are saying, rename your folder or that file to recovery.img. It's never going to work because it's it's not it, it, it just it's not going to work okay <laughs> it already knows it's a disk image file as you can see here see how it says disk image file yeah well that's why you don't need to, to rename it disk uh, uh, recovery.image just rename it recovery now once um you've got that loaded up you're going to want to um put your phone into fast boot mode okay um and in order to do that um, I'm going to show you here. Let me, where's my phone? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Oop, zoom out. Okay. So now I have Sanage Mod 7, which makes it really easy for me to get into fast boot. All I have to do is hold down the power button, hit the reboot button, and then I can reboot right into fast boot. But I'm going to show you guys out there that don't have Sanage Mod 7 loaded on their phone. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and power the phone off. And this will take two seconds here because my phone is blazing fast with the new version of Sandwich Mod 7 and Fox's 123 uh, 1.45 gigahertz kernel hack. So anyways, phone's off. Power, volume down. We're holding. You can actually let go of the power button at that point. Holding, holding, power down, uh, volume down. Okay, fast boot is the first image that pops up as you can see. Um, what you're going to want to do there is uh, press the volume up. And then that'll enable uh, Fastboot protocol support. Once you see that, then you're going to go ahead. I mean, you could even plug in your phone USB at any point. But um, I usually just do it now <laughs> um, for whatever reason. So now that you see Fastboot uh, protocol support is, is going, you plug your phone in uh, USB. Okay. And then we're going to go back to the computer. All right. And then I'll zoom in, zoom in, because I know the command prompt's going to pop up right around here. All right, so we're going to go to, if you don't know how to get to your command prompt, a real simple way is go to your start menu, all programs, go to accessories, and click on command prompt. That's going to open the box up for you. And we'll zoom in just a little bit more, a little bit more. Okay. Now, in order to get to the folder, right, you want to navigate your computer to the folder where all this shit's in, right? So for me, um, like I said, I've got it on my C drive, which 98% of you guys should have it on. Um, and I've renamed my folder that I have all my fast boot and ADB shit in the, in the folder that I'm going to be putting the um, recovery image in. Um, I've named it to Atrix just for simplicity purposes. I mean, it's, it's really easy. Instead of typing in whatever the hell you want to type in, it's just Atrix, okay? So anyway, so I go CD space C colon backslash Atrix. Bam. Now I'm in the folder. I'm in this folder here, 
okay? The computer is looking at this folder right now. Um, once I'm in there, I can type in fastboot space uh, space uh, flash. Was it flash? I'm pretty sure it was flash recovery dot img. Okay. And then you're going to hit enter. Once you hit enter, it's going to flash the fucking thing. And it takes literally two seconds. Um, once it's flashed, then now you have clock with mod on your phone. All you have to do is um, type in after that. So again, keeping in mind, once it's flashed, okay, once it's flashed, you're going to type in fastboot reboot. And then you're going to hit enter. Now, I've already got it loaded on my phone, or I've got um, the uh, ROM manager clockwork mod loaded on my phone, so I'm not going to do this, but, I mean, you guys get the picture, right? Um, and considering my phone's not plugged in, you're not going to see the action of me hitting enter and then rebooting my phone. Uh, so anyways, um, so you're going to hit that, and then it'll reboot your phone. Once your phone's rebooted, you now have... Uh, clockwork mod on your phone. You now have a recovery image on your phone. And, and that's how you're going to do it for most of them, actually. Um, some of them in the future, once you already have a ROM um, on your phone, it, uh, once you have a recovery loaded on your phone, um, some some other custom recoveries out there sometimes come as a, uh, uh, as a flashable image, as, as, like, as, as in um, you can put it on your SD card, locate it with your recovery that you already have on there, and then flash it. And, and it'll just work like that. So, um, anyways, so that, that's it guys. Um, that's how you load a recovery on your phone. And, uh, hopefully that, that helps some of you guys out. Um, anyways, if you do appreciate this video, please subscribe, rate, and comment down below if you have some different methods or have any other questions or ideas for other videos you might want to see in the future. Um, I'm always open to them. As you can see, I'm doing a video right now for one of my viewers. So... There you go, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. It really helps out my channel and uh, tells me you guys give a shit. <laughs> Until next time, guys, the Smoking Android signing out.